Philips LED InstaFit. And this is the one that requires a ballast. They're called the 17 watt LED. So we're going to put this in here and see what the total loss is, including the ballast. So these InstaFit bulbs that require an electronic ballast are actually a fairly decent option. That the loss of the bat leaving the ballast in there for this variant that requires it basically is about nothing. This is 32 watts. So that's the two InstaFit bulbs with an electronic ballast. I was very much surprised. So if I went ahead and took this ballast out and put the two LED versions that don't require a ballast, it's the same darn power. So that means if you've got fixtures with an T8 ballast in it, electronic, you might as well go ahead and use these bulbs instead of screwing around trying to take all it, rewire it, unless you just have a bad ballast to begin with. Interest. Pull both bulbs out. We got three watts total input. That's just the core loss or whatever to the ballast there. Electronic ballast. T8 fixture. Now we got 21 watts for one LED bulb in a fixture with an electronic ballast. And these bulbs are the Philips ones from Home Depot that required electronic ballast is a kick so it's 21 watts and it says it's a 17 watt bulb here so you got 21 watts total to the fixture with a ballast that's designed for two T8 it's an electronic ballast and I've only got one installed I just 54 watts total for two bulbs T8 with an electronic ballast 54 watts total the entire fixture. Phillips bulbs. Now if I removed one bulb, we got 32 watts. It's a ballast designed for two bulbs. I've got one pulled out. We got 32 watts. 